Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can add an icon to the end of the button text in a Squarespace website. We're going to isolate an individual button and use some CSS to place the icon at the end of the text while it's still inside the button itself. I'll also teach you how to change the size and the color of that specific icon so you can style it to look perfect on your own website. Now let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site, and I do want to mention this works for any version of Squarespace. I'm using 7.1, but if you're using version 7, you can still use this code. It's super customizable and got the exact same code for you. So we're going to use a Unicode character, and I'll show you how to do this with a custom font. If you head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode, I have this huge list of Unicode characters that are compatible with most fonts available in Squarespace. We're going to go ahead and use the arrow from this list to add an arrow to the buttons on this demo website that I have right here. So this is the code we're going to use, which is listed in the description below, but there are a few things for us to change. So let's hop over to design and then custom CSS and work with this code. I'm going to paste the code right here and immediately you'll see the arrow added to the end of all of the different types of text buttons I have here, small, medium, and large. Now I mentioned that you could isolate individual buttons in the intro to this video. So right here, if we want to apply this arrow specifically to all of the small buttons, I can add dash dash small to this code and just the small button is going to get that arrow. Same for medium and large, I can say dash dash large, and just the large button will get that arrow icon. We can also isolate by block ID. I use a free Chrome extension to grab this, linked in the description below, not affiliated, just a fan. I clicked on the extension and I'll say, okay, just the block ID for this medium button, turn that off, and right here, I'm gonna leave the text that says SQS block button element after, but at the very beginning, I'm gonna say just in this block. That will isolate just that button. And this content is what we've added. I use that Unicode arrow, but you can literally use any character you want. Let's say you want to use an ampersand, for example. You can also grab any of the other Unicode characters listed from here that are usable in your font. These are compatible with a majority of fonts in Squarespace, but if you see a square and it doesn't show up as the character, that means that Unicode character isn't available for your font but all of these ones are available in Poppins, which is the font I'm using. So I'm gonna paste that other arrow and there we go, it's placed right there. Now I also mentioned we can change the font size and color. Let's add a new line and say font size 3REM. Now that arrow is gonna be so big it forces it onto a second line. So maybe not the best example, but you can use any font size you want making just that icon larger or smaller. If we add a semicolon and say color, I can also change it to uh, green, for example, or maybe a hex color code like 50BDB8. It's one of my favorite shades of teal. And now you can see the color of that icon or that arrow that we've added is going to be different than the text for the button. So that's how you can change the font size and color of just that icon. Now, I also mentioned using a custom font family. If you've installed a font on your website, you can absolutely use the same code to add a new character. So I'm going to paste this code right here, but instead of your font family here, I've actually named the font icon. So if I type that in, we'll see instantly I get a new character over here. Now I just remember this is actually the letter N to get the leaf that kind of curves in from the right. So check this out. We're gonna add one more line of code to have an icon on both sides. I'm gonna say block button element before and change this to the letter M and now the icon associated with the letter M in that font family and the letter N in that font family are placed around the text for that specific button. So we use the same trick we did up here to place content after the block button element. You'll see it's being applied to all the buttons on my site right now, but I use the specific font family that I installed, which I named icon. Now, if you need step-by-step -step instructions for how to install a font, I have that linked in the description below. There's a different tutorial for you, but let's say you've already got that done. You can add a character from that font after and before the text for your button using a code like this. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll consider this one good to go. Alrighty, a link to that Chrome extension that I used to grab the block ID is listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to give me a like and comment below and subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single Tuesday and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, 
have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.